different situation involving the agency, a wrestling organization in McAllister, and wrestlers who participated at a certain show. Fox 25's David Chazanoff has been looking into the details. So, David, what can you tell us? Adam Wendy, Richard Bedford of McAllister says the OSAC here in Oklahoma City challenged him in court a day before his show. OSAC has never benefited professional wrestling as far as safety, as far as anything. Richard Bedford, who co-owns the New Class Wrestling Organization in McAllister, has been fighting the OSAC since he hosted shows on October 21st and 22nd without a promoter's license. I had told her this in July, several months prior to that, that I would be treating this as Indian country and not get my promoter's license. But I did not tell the performers so they would be able to say they did not know what was going on. Several months later, Bedford started promoting for his April 6th event, and that's when he says the OSAC seeked legal action, trying to have power over native land. We beat their injunction in court. The district judge in Pittsburgh County ruled that in our favor. Shortly after the ruling, the OSAC suspended the wrestlers who performed at the McAllister shows in October, like Logan Knight who says those suspensions were lifted Thursday. The media attention that the Nyla Rose situation, as well as the intergender ruling and the transgenders can't wrestle ruling, uh, also played a big factor into that because I know the commission has been getting emails, calls, whatever it takes to get them to realize that their rules are outdated and they're not very justifiable. A professional wrestler himself, Knight says he also plans to continue fighting back against the OSAC. We are hoping to get not only them off of native land, but to get the intergender rule and the transgender wrestling rule overturned and a part of the agenda when we go to the meeting on July 10th. We reached out to the OSAC, but we have not yet heard back. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.